Hi, I'm Shelby and I'm here with Tessa and we're going to be talking about transitioning my firearm into my everyday carry. So Tessa, I've been shooting for a little over a year right now and I'm trying to transition into putting the gun on my body for an everyday carry. So the first thing is just kind of figuring out where it's going to be comfortable on your body and not only comfortable but most concealable. So Sarah Hopman talks about your peaks and your valleys and typically if we put it on a peak, which is often our center line, it's going to want to print and it might even be uncomfortable. So it's useful to use like a blue gun or whatever gun you're gonna be carrying, make sure it's unloaded of course, and just kind of check where you're going to be most comfortable and still have range of motion. Okay. And I found that most people are comfortable and most concealed just a little bit off to the right or off to the strong side of their zipper. So go ahead and check that out and see kind of if you have range of motion, even in that position. So I think if you had it a little bit over to your right, you might run into like the issues of like your the grip actually Drinking running off of your side. body. Yeah. And so maybe just a little bit more towards your center line. And then even with that, maybe try lifting up your leg so you're not having any like muzzle running into you at all. So Tessa, I have a dumb question for you. What do you use to put it on your body? So I've noticed that a lot of people don't feel super comfortable wearing belts, but I think that's a really, really great place to start. So my two favorite ways to carry is on a belted mounted holster or the Enigma. The Enigma is definitely like, um, it's kind of my favorite. It's your but favorite. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the belt mounted holster first just because that's really common and it might work for you really well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and have you put this belt on and maybe try to avoid having the overlapping part where we're actually gonna be putting the gun. So even set it off to the side or however you wanna do that. So we already have a really great holster here. This is a JM Custom Kydex holster with a monoblock on it. Mm -hmm. Something to be aware of with this clip is that it's awesome. It's gonna hold onto your belt really well and it's nice and slim, but it is a little bit more difficult to put on, but that's part of what makes it such a good clip. So I want you to go ahead and position that where you, we kind of figured out where you wanna have it before, but something that you're gonna run into is the issue of your actual belt loop kind of getting in the way of the clip. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna wanna bias the clip off to one side or the other of your actual belt loop. Okay. That's actually one of the reasons why I love the Enigma so much is because it lets me put it wherever I want, regardless of my pants. So clip it down a little bit further. You want these little teeth underneath, perfect. That like audible click is mm -hmm. what we want. So something that you're noticing right away here is that there's distance between your body and the actual grip of the gun and even the slide. The thing that we need to do to get rid of that issue is we might need to put an actual pad on the side of the holster between your body on the bottom of the muzzle mm -hmm. to bring that slide bring in close to your body. Yep, make okay. it, we want contact with your skin because if there's not contact with your skin, we're going to start to see, you can even pull your shirt down, you'll, you'll even notice. Just move around a little bit and you can start to, yep, right there. So you're gonna catch hard edges, but when we contour it to our body, it tends to wanna move with our body mm -hmm. and that's what is gonna actually prevent printing. So something that we've kind of established here is that we're, we're not able to get the grip to tuck in with this specific holster because we don't have a wing to interact with the belt. Mm -hmm. So we want a holster that has a wing to interact with the belt. And I think that we might want to look into putting a wedge on the bottom of the muzzle of the holster okay. to bias that slide in. So go ahead and take that one off and I'll set you up with something different. This wedge is going to be super helpful because we get to choose what side we want to tuck in more and we're mm -hmm. wanting to tuck the, the actual top of the slide into okay. you more as well as the grip. So I'm actually gonna bias this off to the optic side of the holster so that we're interacting with your actual skin and pressing the grip in okay. as well. And these clips can even be a little bit tricky. Again, that's part of what makes them so reliable. You're gonna want to actually clip them from the bottom up to the top. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so now we've got that on there. We've got a wing interacting with the belt here. Do you notice that we have a lot more grip tuck? We're still, we still have some slide printing sticking out and especially with an optic on there, that's gonna, that's gonna matter. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the part where you're gonna have to like get kind of finicky with it. You're gonna have to like kind of mess with it and position Move it. Move around a little bit. Yeah. Figure it out. And it's not gonna just go on there and it's mm -hmm. going to work for everyone. For some people it is pretty plug and play, 
but we all have really unique body types. So this is something that you're gonna wanna just kind of mess with the little nuances of it. I'm also noticing that you have a little bit of below the belt printing. Mm -hmm. And something to keep in mind here is whatever your gun selection is going to look like. Everybody's body is proportioned super differently. And so sometimes the grip is actually gonna be too long and run off of your body. So mm -hmm. this might not be the best firearm for your specific setup, but that doesn't mean that we can't make it work too. So how does that feel? Having the wedge in the wing does feel a little bit more secure, but I would like it a little bit closer into my body. Yeah. How does it conceal? Move around for me. So we've got a little bit here, a little bit here, and that is super duper common. Mm -hmm. Like if you're going to get printing, it's typically the very edge of the grip, the very top of the slide, and sometimes if you like to front tuck your shirts like me, there's some below the belt printing. Mm -hmm. That's really not ideal when we're ladies, <laughs> so I try to avoid that. I've noticed that this is, con like it's concealing better even though I'm still noticing it. Yeah. We are using a much larger gun. Mm -hmm. So how cool is that? Like we have sized up majorly in gun size, huge size up here, but we've oh. added a claw and a wedge. Mm -hmm. And so, and we're concealing even a little bit better than we were with a smaller gun. So is there something that can make it a little bit easier to conceal? I do prefer to wear leggings or workout clothes and stuff like that. So I love this question because the answer is enigma for me personally. I didn't carry in leggings or skirts or anything like that very well before the enigma. The main thing that I'm noticing when I look at you is the belt. Like I'm noticing belt printing more than anything it. else. And I know that I personally don't like that. I like to show like the shape of my actual body, not the belt. So the enigma is gonna be working independently of your pants. So that's why we can wear it with the leggings and skirts and not have any kind of belt printing. So, and I think we can dial in the concealment quite a bit more on that. So okay. let's try that. Okay, so we've taken that holster off and we're gonna start working with the Enigma and we're gonna work with it outside of your pants just because it might be a little bit <laughs> awkward if we didn't. So we're just gonna work with it how we have it. Okay. I have this on the closest side on the actual wing side of the holster to really optimize grip tuck for her. And then I actually have this one down on the closest bottom hole to try to mitigate printing below the belt. So you can go ahead and place that on and then we'll kind of work on the other settings on your body. So we kind of have it placed where we had the other gun placed and the holster we have on here right now is for a slightly larger and heavier gun. So, and the great thing about the leg leash is that it is not useful until it is. So if you need to draw your gun, it's going to make sure that everything stays where it needs to so that you can have a safe and quick draw. Okay. And also it's just, it's a useful piece. So you're going to want to dial it in with this length here. So you wanna bring this up more and then we'll figure out your leg diameter. Great, yeah, that's looking like it's it's fitting right where you want it. And the great thing about having it in your leg crease is that it's not gonna be impeded by your movement or anything like that. It's gonna move with you. It's also not gonna print. So okay. like even when you're in leggings, if you have it up in your crease, your body's already creasing there. So now something to keep in mind that I think a lot of people get confused about with the Enigma is they don't realize they need to actually tighten the belt down. So I think we have it placed about where we want it. So tighten it down to where it's comfortable. It shouldn't be uncomfortable, but it should be fairly snug because that's what lets us tuck the grip of the gun in nice and snug. And notice that as you tightened it, it actually moved more towards your center line. So go ahead and shift the whole thing off to the right a little bit. Yup. And then tighten it down again, yeah. So before we go into this process, I just want to explain how to holster this gun safely and to how to remove it safely. So when you're going to holster it, I want you to go ahead and tip your hips out. Yep, go ahead and look into the holster and make sure there's nothing in there and then you can slowly reluctantly holster. And then when you go to draw it, do it just like you are. You're clearing your shirt and you're keeping your support hand out of the way of the muzzle. Okay, there's that for you. beautiful. <laughs> so we're still having it running off of your body here. And this concealment dynamic is going to change when you put it inside your waistband. So now we've moved the Enigma inside your pants. How, how does it feel? Does it feel different or? It feels great. I really like that it's pushed in pretty tight. The gun feels really secure. Mm -hmm. I'm able to move it a little bit and adjust it. Yeah. It's fitting kind of custom. Like you're yeah. able to put it where you want it. It doesn't, it's not like dependent on your pants. You yeah. could even have it up higher if you wanted to, regardless of the rise height of your jeans. And that's something that you're gonna wanna play with. Mm -hmm. And something too is we want to adjust cant. 
depending on, you know, body, if, type, and body type and how that's working with your curves and your peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. So what I tend to do, especially with a bigger gun like this, is I want to actually cant it like that so that you, do you notice how looking down, it goes into like a natural curve of your yep. body versus sticking right out here. here and running off your body. We're bringing it into the actual curves of your body. As a concept, I really do like the Enigma, but how do I work this into making it more comfortable to where I can wear every day? Yeah, so that is gonna be like a personal testing process for you, which can look like wearing it around the house for a little while and trying different outfits. I know that's what I did when I got, first got my Enigma. And for me personally, it was a really frustrating setup process, but I was really determined to have something that was independent from my pants and working through that process, kind of try it with different outfits, different rise height pants, try it with skirts, and even safely try your draws at home or take it to the range if you feel comfortable doing that as well. Just kind of get an overall feel for it. The last thing that I wanted to mention too is that there are gonna be certain tops that are going to make concealment more difficult regardless of how awesome your setup is. Mm -hmm. And so you might look into finding tops that are a natural fiber or something of that sort to get you that last like 10% of the way there. So what about the first method we tried with the belt and the holster? So that might be useful for different outfits and different just applications, even going to the range. I've noticed I like to have a belt mounted holster sometimes. Don't hesitate to okay. try the belt and kind of dial that in as well. Anything that you have is going to require dialing in. Essentially, we get a good holster, we get a good quality holster with concealment features, and then we do the different things we need to do to customize it to ourselves, kind of like we did with adding a wedge. So it's gonna require some customization regardless of belt, Enigma, or whatever. So we started out with a Hellcat in a quality holster, but it didn't have concealment features. And we started out with a pretty decent amount of printing, even though we had it in the right spot on your body. Yeah. And then we moved up to a larger size gun, still on a belted mounted kind of situation. We added a wedge and a wing, and we noticed that we were getting similar concealment, but we were using a much larger gun. So we kind of dialed in that in a little bit better. And then we moved to an even larger gun and we put the Enigma on you and we're getting pretty good concealment now. So basically just continue to kind of dial up your setup and you know, put that with the gun that you're actually gonna be carrying and work that for yourself. And that will ultimately lead you to a place where you're feeling confident carrying every single day. Thank you, Tessa, I really appreciate this. It's been super helpful and I definitely feel less intimidated. I'm gonna find what works best for me so I can work my firearm into my everyday carry. Awesome, I'm really glad that it helped you and I really hope that it helps some of you guys.